so here we have the we have the customer bank yes it is two one eight six five six seven five six seven eight nine that is the bank key we have maintained and after that we have maintained the account number for the customer as two one eight six five six seven eight double nine that is the account number we have maintained and then we are assuming that we are receiving the check from the customer and the check number is that is nine two one eight six nine two one eight six so the length for the check we have maintained as nine digits so we have maintained the last five digit as nine two one eight six uh then we can go down we have the payment of thirty one thousand that we can update over over here thirty one thousand payment is there once again last two digit we are leaving for the decimal value then here we have the record type four so you can remove these two record type because these are not relevant then here in the record type four you need to have here the reference number so what reference number you need to put it here so here we can go to the open item and we can check the reference number go to the system go to the customer line item through the transition code fbl 5 n check the open item so this is the reference number we have it is 38006 we can put this number as a reference and we can put it here in the file so this is the 10 digit number we have maintained now our logbox file is ready and we can upload it so before we upload we can give the name of this logbox file as logbox 186 and after that we can save it click on the save option now in order to upload your logbox file it is saying that we need to run the transition code so the transition code is flb2 so let's have the transition code flb2 transition code is flb2 actually after processing the file through the flb2 what we are expecting we are expecting this open item would have been cleared off by system and we'll be able to see this line item under the cleared item section so here we will keep this window open and we have one more window where we can upload that logbox file and the run we can run the transition code it is flb2 transition code is flb2 here it is saying that this is the program we have for we are using for the logbox so here under the main logbox program you need to upload the file so we can select this uh, checkbox that is the pc upload and then we can go to the logbox file we can attach the logbox file so this is the file we have created today 3rd of july and we can attach this file 2186 now what is the format we want to go with we'll enter here the format as bi2 format we'll enter the record input format as bi2 format then the procedure is going to be by default logbox only and we can go and process click on the execute button click on the execute button here we can click on the allow option if the system is asking for it so you can just see here we have the check number system has updated it is the okay start from here we have the destination id as your bank key origin id as your account number bank account number then we have the logbox id as lck bx 86 this is the date we have updated and this is the id that is the logbox id statement id system has created as 350 then we can go to the field call check number this is the check number we have received from the customer this is the customer number 28401 this is the amount we have received from the customer 38000 and you can just see these are the two payment documents system has updated so one is one is your sub ledger document and second is your gl document so under the gl document we will have the entry as a logbox account a debit uh, it is the bank inco incoming clearing account incoming clearing account debit to the logbox account i'll also show the line item and then we have the sub ledger entry as sub ledger entry as logbox account debit to the customer account so that is the entry we'll have under the sub ledger entry then you can see the status for your logbox it is on account and the status it is showing you as currently it is showing you the status as applied on account if there would there would have been any line item system would have considered as, uh, as on hold on hold because of the wrong information incomplete information system would have put it on the on account option but we don't have any line item that is the reason system is showing you this field as blank then we can see the status it is showing you as applied for one line item and here you can observe here the item and batch uh, item or batch number if you observe that double zero one uh, then we have the batch item so that system has taken over here then if you just go on the right side 
so this is the payment advice which would be generated by the system automatically this payment advice is a combination of your your uh, your customer number and your check number we can once again go on the right side you can see in the message we don't have anything so it is blank if the system if uh, we would have maintained any wrong information and system would have rejected or maintained and as on account option so then system would have given you the reason for it why system uh, has rejected that particular uh, uh, record and so that we can correct it we can make the correction so that is the information we can find out under the record under the message now if we just go down here it is saying that we have the status for the logbox uh, uh, transaction so the transaction status we can has we can have as applied partial applied we have the posted on account we have the unprocessed so applied means so these this is the amount which is matching with the open item we have for the customer and also it is matching with the customer details and then we have how many line items which are processed so here we have seen so we have maintained the single line item that is the reason system is showing you single item if you would have you received or processed a 10 line item system would have shown you the number of transactions as 10 and accordingly system would have shown you here the total of those 10 transactions then we have the partial applied means so those line items which are partially those which are partially mapped because of the uh, partial payment received from the customer so that would have been maintained under a different line item the second line item then we have the option status as a, uh, on hold so that would have been maintained over here if any file would have been rejected by system that would have been updated over here and that is the total of your logbox file logbox uh, uh, payment you have received from the customer if you go back if you go back and once again you will have here the information that this is the payment reference number through which we have received the 31000 from the customer lead this is the account number we have maintained the document number system has all the open item system has found from the system and then here it is saying that the customer has been identified by the system with the help of the meeker number meeker information is nothing but the combination of your bank key customer bank key and account number customer bank key and account number which we have maintained in the customer master data now if i just walk you through the flb2 that we use for okay before i just walk you through the flb2 let's display the line item once again we are going to refresh the customer line item so it will not be it will not be open item anymore because that would have been cleared off by system we'll be able to see it under the cleared item so go to the cleared item and here we can go to the amount we can just make the sorting on the date and the let it be the data as today's date so we can see here we have amount with the uh, with 31000 the system has updated and here you can just see this is a this is a this is a payment document number system has given you it is 38 39000 all zero eight and that is the reference number we have used it is 38000 38 38 all zero six so that is the clearing document number system has maintained as 39 it is 39 all zero eight and uh, after that we can go to the we can go to the flb2 so again this flb2 we use for the post processing flb1 sorry flb2 is for the file upload and flb1 we have for the post processing let's have here the transition code flb1 that we are using for the post processing okay, so for the post processing this one is going to ask you for your house bank account id and account number so destination is nothing but your bank key so that bank key is we are maintaining as 2186 all 2186 4 times 01 and origin id is nothing but your bank account number we are maintaining as 11 and after that we can click on the execute button and on the left side you can just see we have one icon with the house shape icon we can see over here that is for the log box if you open this actually this is for the house bank this is for the housing it is saying that for this housing how many logbox uh, accounts we are maintaining we are maintaining the single house uh, single logbox account id you may have multiple logbox account id under a single housing but since we are having a single uh, we have maintained a single logbox id that is the reason it is showing you single one now within the logbox id it is lckbx if you want to have the information so you can just see we have received a file from the bank on 3rd of July and that is the time we can see here and it is coming with the green indicator it is coming with the green indicator if you double click on this so it will show you on the right side 
you will have the posting area one and posting area two so posting area one is going to give you your gl document whereas posting area uh, posting area two is going to give you your sub ledger entry or your customer document number now if you double click on this uh, this document that is your gl document so you can just see it is showing you the gl line item as incoming clearing account debit to the logbox account and if you go back and you check the sub ledger entry so you can double click on this the sub ledger is going to be your logbox account debited and your customer account has been credited because we at the beginning we debit the customer at the time of sales now since we have received the payment from the customer we are creating the customer and we are debiting the logbox payment account so these are the two payment document system is going to generate and here we can see it is coming with the green signal which means that it doesn't require any manual uh, processing if we would have received any payment with the yellow signal that is for the in process or on hold and if we have, would have received the payment with the green, in, green uh, with the red indicator so for the red indicator also we can go for the post processing so for the post processing what do you need to do you need to go to the menu check actually it is to be done by the end user only so we are as a consultant we are not supposed to do it so here it is to be done by the end user but again for the information uh, purpose we can understand this that it is to be maintained from the we need for that we need to go to the menu check and then we can go to the post so here you need to give the information that which uh, line item you want to get processed so that particular line item system will just show you actually since it is a posted document already that is the reason system is not taking you further otherwise system would have given you the uh, amount information you have received and that based on that you can just search for your customer you can map the relevant customer so that is the thing we have here so with this we are done with the logbox so that is what we have and with this we can conclude this topic